Hello, my name is Angela, and I'm part of the YSP program under Blue Marble Space Institute of Science. This summer, I worked under Dr. Ji Hua Hao on the photostability of nitrogen bearing biomolecules in the primitive ocean. Uh, my partners, Guixin and Jia Wei, have released their lightning talk on the technicalities behind this experiment, so I figured that I would give some background and significance as to why we're doing this experiment in the first place. So I know there's a lot of words in the title, so let's begin with the significance of UV light. So what is UV light and why is it so important to nitrogen species? How does it affect them? So on the electromagnetic wave spe spectrum, the sun emits ultraviolet to infrared waves, as you can see in the diagram on the right. UV light is the most energetic of these waves, and it's capable of photolyzing, aka destroying nitrogen compounds, which are important to life like amino acids, RNA, proteins, things that are very important <laughs> to forming life. Um, one of the main issues to forming these important compounds is that Earth's early atmosphere had no oxygen, no way to form an ozone layer to protect the Earth from this UV radiation. Another issue is that young stars emit more UV radiation and are fainter when they're young. So the question arises, how did nitrogen species survive in colder and more destructive conditions? 